Do you guys think you're good at overcoming objections, yes or no? No, you're not. Does anybody want to step up here with me right now and I'll hit you with an objection, we'll see if you can overcome it. Hey Tyler, really appreciate it, man. By the way, what's my payment gonna be? Burn it at both ends. I like the fire cause it make hand. I'm not tired, I've been waiting. I'm not forsaken. Like, Can you prep people to pay bigger payments? Yes or no? Yes. Tell me how. Ready? Everybody, listen to me. Hold on. We're, we're going to get into a payment close. But I want to ask you guys a question. If the payment's $800 a month and I wanted to be at $550, you're bringing the pencil in that says $800. What are some things that you could say quickly out of your mouth that could get me to get my thinking up? Go. Something that you could think of. That we're on the wrong car? Uh uh. We're on the right car. They're going to need you to spend more money. Can you go longer term? Um, yeah, 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 but why should I pay 800 though? Listen to me, follow me. I got a piece of paper. I'm walking into the office, right? Mr. and Mrs. Customer, great news. I sit down, right? I'm about to open it up. They want to be at 550, it says 800. How can I prepare them to take an $800 payment and not say, damn! We're gonna make you a deal. Yeah, yeah, but, but that's okay, but that doesn't mean that I should pay more. We're gonna make you a deal it's like, great news guys, payment's bigger than we thought it was gonna be. But how can you say that in the right way? Everybody, everything that I've been teaching you guys since we started today has been simple. Framing. What does framing mean? To frame the client how to think or how to perceive this new information that you're about to give them. The way you present it is the way they perceive it. Does that make sense? Yes. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm gonna grab this right here. This is gonna be a worksheet. Okay, he's my manager, he hands it to me. He goes, hey Andy, here's your worksheet. And I look at it, I go, damn, gonna have to get him up. What do I do? I fold it in half. Can you guys fold your paper in half? Why would I fold it in half? Because when I walk in, as I'm walking into the office, what are they gonna try to look at? Don't you dare let him see it, okay? So, I'm going to walk in, just go seal it down, and then walk in. Hey guys, great news. Okay, what I'm about to go over, if you qualify for dish, different options, you probably want to see them. Would you agree, David? Yes. Great, I'm going to go over some different options with you. Now, I want to ask you questions. David, the bigger the payment you pay, the faster you pay your car off. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Some of your goals, some of our clients' goals is to put the title back in their glove box faster by paying their vehicle off quicker. Does that make sense, Dave? Yes. Okay, Dave, let me ask you one question and I'm gonna go over the numbers with you. You have a vehicle that's outside that you're trading in today that you have a monthly payment on. Right. If the current dealership that you bought that car from when you bought it would have given you an opportunity to pay in $100 additional more a month than what you were paying, but it would have been paid off today, would you have wanted to see that option? Absolutely. Sure. So basically, bigger payments are good. Having the right structure on a loan is important and that's what I wanna go over with you today. David, great news. At $800 a month, you qualify for a program that's going to allow you to get your title back in your glove box quicker. This is on 84 months. Some of our clients choose to go 96, so it's even longer. That way it's a lower payment. This is going to be a little bigger, but it's going to put that title back in your glove box faster. And just like you said, you would have paid an additional more on a payment to have your car paid off faster. This is going to allow that. So David, looking at all the numbers, we're going to pay your vehicle off at $800 a month. I apologize, I forgot to ask you, when did you want to set your first payment due? towards the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, what's gonna work best for you and your family? And we'll get your vehicle paid off today. When would be best, middle or the end? Probably the middle. Okay, like the 15th or the 20th? The uh, 15th is fine. Cool, I'm just gonna write the 20th of the month. If you're just initial off on that, I'm gonna let my manager know that this is the payment date you'd like to set everything up. I'm out. Did he rebuttal me? Why? Because you weren't talking about the payment, you were talking about when I wanted to do. Aha. Guys, listen, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, but it's not for the amateurs, okay? Listen to me, some of you, you're not gonna get this. You're too young in the business. But for those of you that can grasp this, I want you to understand something. I told you that somebody will always remember the last sentence in a negotiation. When I come in and I give the numbers, when I give them the numbers, the last thing that I say is what he'll focus on. So if I say, watch, if I say, watch, this is an amateur. David, 
great news at 800 a month, 99,000 for the sales price. Sign here, we'll get your new car cleaned up. Dead silence. Hear it? You know what that, that dead silence says to me? Negotiation bell. It's time to negotiate, David. <laughs> How do I get out of here? <laughs> you feel me? But watch this, not me. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments, tell me that you need help. Do me a favor, I'm gonna tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. I say, David, great news. Now, by the way, did I frame David before I, before I went over the numbers? What did I say? I said, David, if you qualified for some additional options, when I go to buy something, I like to see all the options I qualify for. Would you agree? Yes. So I told David, when he goes to buy something, would he like to see all the options he qualifies for? He says, yeah. I said, beautiful. David, the bigger the payment you make, the faster you pay your car off. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Can you guys say that? Say it. You may think this sounds stupid, but I'm framing him. And then I say, also, David, on top of that, the goal would be, obviously, to put the title back in your glove box faster. Absolutely. Sometimes by making a bigger payment, that, that actually makes that uh, available. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay, now watch. Watch this last question I ask him. I say, David, let me ask you a question. If the vehicle you're currently trading in today, if the dealership you would have bought it from would have given you an option to pay an additional $100 a month when you bought it, and the car would have been paid off today, title in hand. Would you have wanted to see that option, yes or no? Yeah, they probably didn't show you that option though, did they, David? Great, yeah. Great news. At 72 easies or 84 easies, which is the monthly term, most customers are financing these cars on house terms now. But this is 84 short months. And at 84 months, your payment's gonna be $800 a month. We're gonna pay your vehicle off today. And the only question I have, David, is when did you wanna make your first payment due? When did you wanna put that first payment due? Towards the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, what's gonna work best for you and your family? Now, I don't know about you guys, but in California, they'll probably give you 45 days to your first, first payment, am I right? Well, that gives you 30 to 45 days. So when do you want your payment due? Towards the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, what's gonna work best for you and your family? And they always say, uh, probably the middle of the month. And I say, more like the 15th or the 20th. And they say, uh, the 20th. And I say, cool, go ahead and sign that right there. I'm gonna let my manager know that you want your payment due around the 20th. Thank you so much for your business. Can I go ahead and get a copy of y'all's uh, insurance? I'm done. I closed more people on first payments by doing it this way. Now, you may say, Andy, but what if they're not okay with the payment? Well, they would have rebuttaled me. That have said, Andy, I don't care about the payment due. I can't pay 800. I want to share with you guys a little secret. Most of you in here, you're attached to the payment. You're the freaking problem. You're the problem. You're attached to the $99,000. It ain't the customer that's attached. You're attached. Does that make sense? Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? The time you spend with the customer, you let them get in your head. Yeah, whose is this? Yours? Watch this. Hey. What's your monthly payment on your car? What's an average monthly payment in the dealership? Okay, so I'm gonna give you an example. Does everybody feel me? All right. If his monthly payment on his car is 400, 700 to 1,000 is a big payment. Would you agree? Bullshit, it ain't a big payment. You need to get your thinking up. You know what I would've done when you bought your car? I would've paid 2,000 a month. You know why? Because you'll realize that ain't a big payment, man. That's nothing. And I'm gonna tell you this, this is why you gotta start making money fast. This is why you guys gotta get to this other side of being eight to 10 car hands. I sold 80 cars a month when I sold. Okay, so like, and don't tell me that you can't do it because you're all capable of doing it. You got enough people in your area, you got enough inventory on your lot, you got a great ass team, don't tell me you can't sell 40. Okay, like all of you can. But the reason why you gotta get to the other side is because you gotta stop being broke. See, broke people act like broke people. If you're paying a $400 payment, and I'm not saying anything bad about you, but I want you to pay a $2,000 payment as fast as possible. The reason why 
It's because when you walk in, you're like, guys, I, I paid $2,000 payment, $700 to get that car? Are you kidding me? That's nothing. Dude, the benefits, the features, the gas mileage, the warranty, oh my God. Like, that's nothing, guys. Like, you have to be sold that this is not a lot of money, okay? Look, how much money do you got in the bank? Like five grand. Okay, if he's got five grand in the bank, when he's asking a customer to put out $20,000, it seems like a lot of money, doesn't it? Okay, can I ask you a question? If you had 250 grand in the bank, putting 20 grand down ain't shit, is it? Do you feel me? Yeah, for around 25, I get it. No, but do you feel me? Do you, do you see what I'm saying though, yeah, guys? Yes. This is why you gotta break out of poverty quick. Can you break out in sales, yes or no? Yes. Okay, this is for everybody in here. We're gonna go to a payment close. Level 10 earning opportunity, okay? All that any man or woman ever asked for in their life was a way out and an opportunity, am I right? You know what I'm gonna bet all you guys? Most of you in here, you're underestimating the transportation freaking job that you got. See, if you believed that this was an $800,000 a year job, how much money do you earn a year right now? 40 grand a year? Watch this, you ready? If he's earning $40,000 a year, he doesn't believe 800 grand is possible. Does that make sense? If I told you that you had an $800,000 a year job that paid you $40,000 a month, would you act differently? 100%. But you do. Do you guys get it? Whoever can get this gets, gets the money. Do you get it? But you're not making that, right? No, 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 but hold on. Is he gonna make 800 grand this year? Okay, then that's my point. And by the way, people are like, oh, you should have seen what he made one month. One timers don't fly with me. I wanna see year to dates. Does that make sense? Yeah, YTDs, that's all we care about. Now, now listen, I wanna tell you guys something. Today, me talking to you guys about training, it's not about me. This is about what era are we in the era where everybody's consumed on their phones, they're not paying attention. The era where we have more leads and we know what to do with. We just came out of the best economy in the automotive industry, and now it's doing this, and everybody's bitching, whining, and complaining. When they're down, crying, whining, complaining, making excuses, and blaming other the shit, what if we all looked in the mirror and go, you know what? We're gonna become elite. We're gonna become the best. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna raise the standard in our store to a thousand cars. No bullshit, man. Hey, if you sit in this room, guys, can I tell you something? I wanna tell you how I feel about loyalty. People say loyalty is somebody staying with you forever. I don't believe that. My dad thinks so small, it's dangerous for me to be around him. I love him, but I can only, I get a one day rule of my father. He's so weak minded, I, I got one day. I wanna tell you guys something. Some of you in here, you've worked for this company for a long time. You're not as good as you used to be. It's the truth, you're not as good as you used to be. You used to be sharp, you used to be the, the, the fucking needle mover, you used to care, you used to have sales meetings, be all fired up, train the new people. You're all excited. Now, you're just fitting in. You're not loyal anymore. I'm not saying we don't love you, but you're not loyal. As you say, it's time to raise the standard and go to a new level. When you say, we need training every day, we need 30 minutes every morning, we need to do sales meetings, we need to, if we say post on social media, we need to make 100 dials a day, and that shit doesn't happen, loyalty don't exist. That's not loyal. Does that make sense? I want you guys to realize this. Number one, when a company invests in you, don't take it lightly. Because in your life, not many people are. Because they don't give a shit about you. It's just the truth. They don't give two shits whether you make more money. You're here, not because we're trying to convince you to make more money and have a better life and get better. We're counting on you when you go home to smash some shit. And this new, uh, this new way of, of like chasing what we want and not taking no for an answer and you know, reinventing ourselves and recreating ourselves. And by the way, I said this last time, an individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. It means you might be great, but that doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. They're, if they're not on their A game, it means nothing to you. It means nothing. Okay, my team upstairs, it doesn't matter. It's not Andy Elliott, it's the Elliott Group. It's not, it's not the name of the owner, it's the company now, right? Who's the company? You guys are all the company. 
Dude, I swear on my life, I know a dealership, and I'm just gonna tell you this, they had a general manager that was there for 15 years, and, they, and, and, and the owner was saying, he's so loyal, he's so loyal. You know what I went in? I trained their team, and the guy called me, listen, swear to God on my life, guy called me and goes, uh, hey, we're canceling the training. And this is about a year ago. I was like, for why? And he's like, well, nobody does it. Well, I logged in, everybody's doing it. The whole company's doing it, but he don't care anymore. He's like, ah, take it off the expenses. I said, your whole team's doing it. He goes, it doesn't matter. We're gonna be fine, we're canceling it anyways. I just, I hate shitty leaders. You guys have great leaders. But I wanna tell you something. The financial statement has continued to go down in the store and one day this owner calls me out of the blue and he goes, hey, I wanna tell you, I fired that guy that canceled your training. And I wanted to tell you that I've replaced him with a new hungry general manager who wants to prove himself, who loves the team, loves the culture, loves the company, and wants to go to another level. And he goes, we wanna sign back up with the training. I signed back up with the training. Everybody got usernames and passwords, but this time there was a new head. This head said, this is what we're gonna do. No exceptions, non-negotiable. Every day we'll do it, this is what we do. This is who we are. I'm not gonna ask you to do it. Do you need a babysitter or do you need a babysitter? Good, you're a full grown adult. I will not ask you to do this. This is your job, you will do it. I will not babysit you. I'm gonna treat you as an adult and you're gonna do this. He goes, Andy, if anybody doesn't do the training, that means they need a babysitter. That means they cannot work here. I will not babysit adults. He said a new tone. Everybody say new tone. new tone. When you decide to change your life and you decide you want to change your behaviors, you're going to have to start walking around with a new tone too. Do you hear me? Hey, this guy, hey, let's play around. Let's, hey, I don't like that, dude. I don't like it. I want to win. Man, what, damn, dude, I didn't know that bothered you. Yeah, it does. So like, let's get back to work. People are like, I don't like that guy anymore because you got a new tone. I'm, I'm not telling you to be a dick. I'm trying to tell you when you decide to go to new levels, somebody has to draw a line in the sand and say, hey, I love you, but loyalty is over here. Everything on this side, hey, it's like salt and pepper. Does that make sense? Like me and you could be friends, but then we also have business. Does that make sense? Salt and pepper. There has to be a time that she's like, this is a pepper conversation. This isn't salt and pepper. Because sometimes I'll tell you like, hey man, I appreciate you. I want you to, I want you to do great, but you're, you're not working hard. You're distracted at work. And I love you, man. And I'll do whatever you need me to do to help you. But dude, if you don't start caring more, we're going to have to change something. Like seriously. So what's it going to be? Are you going to commit and go all in with us or not? Because I need to know. We need to have these hard conversations with leaders, with salespeople, with finance, with everybody, with detail, with everybody. Why? Because everybody needs to get on the same page. But some people, listen, they're like, well, well what, what if we say something to them and they get mad and leave? Let them leave. The reason why your company's not growing right now is because of that person. Do you know what it's like has anybody ever been in a relationship and you had to walk around on eggshells around that person because you felt like everything you said was going to upset them or make them mad? That was an awful relationship, right? But then you found a new one and you guys could like laugh and joke. You're like, you could be silly around each other, but also you can be serious. You can go get shit done. Does that make sense? I said an individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. See this team right here? Every single one of you right now, do you guys think you're good at overcoming objections, yes or no? No, you're not. Does anybody want to step up here with me right now and I'll hit you with an objection, we'll see if you can overcome it. Come on. If you do, I'll test you right now. Yeah, I mean, I'm ready for anybody. Come on. I didn't say yes. I know, but, but, my, but my point is, because, because I want to make a point when we go home. Right. We're going to make a commitment to start training relentlessly. Does that make sense? Yeah. Hey, hey, and, not, and by the way, not because this guy, this trainer made us feel bad. No, no, no. 
our goal, hey, do you want your competition to know that we're not that good at trial closes? Do you want them to know that we're not good at I need to think about it? Do you want them to know that we can't overcome price objections? Do you want to, no, we don't want, we want them scared of us. We want them to fear us. Am I right? Well, in order to do that, we got to be the real deal because if you guys really get this skilled, see like you're a manager, right? And you're a manager, right? And you're watching your team role play, right? And you're like, damn, this isn't that good, is it? So what does that tell you guys? These are your children. Yes, yes, but that means that you guys need to learn it too, and they need to learn it, okay? My team, here's what I always say, my team can't do what I can't do. They can't become who I'm not. How can I say, hey man, Chris, get all fired up, come on man, and then I'm not all fired up. It doesn't work. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. Like this is why, this is why we're going to build this as a team. Does that make sense? By the way, listen to me. Leaders, when I call them the managers, the leaders, you guys are the leaders. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you? Okay, that, does that make sense to you? You're a leader, 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 she's a, we're all leaders. You know what I'm saying? We're all leading together. That's what makes us dangerous. If you walk into a meeting, you go, raise your hand if you're a leader, and only one of them does, it's like shit, man. They're just a bunch of targets to, that we could take out. Here we go, here's an objection. You said you wanted some phone training, right? Let's do it, here we go. So I'm calling him on the phone. Is that, are you ready? Sure. I filled out a credit application on a 2018 Dodge Ram. Everybody feel me, what did I do? <laughs> I filled out a credit application on a 2018 Dodge Ram. Now that I filled out the credit application, he calls me and says, hey Andy, great news, I got a way to go, what time can you come in? Does that make sense? Does, does that sound about what you'd say? Okay, ready? I say, hey, I really, what's your name again? Tyler. Hey, Tyler, really appreciate it, man. By the way, what's my payment gonna be? Gotta get together and figure it out. Yeah, but I wanna know what my payment's gonna be before I come in. Well, with the way that we do business here, we don't want the car to sell before you get here, so when can we get together and make sure it's all what you're looking for? If you ask him what your payment was gonna be, would you like that answer? All right. What's my payment going to be? Not going to work. Turning me off. What's my payment going to be? I completely understand how you think that that's important. I'd want to know what my payment's going to be too. Come on down. I'll present a couple options to you and you pick which payment works best. Cool. Appreciate it. I just want to see if I can get an idea before I come down. No, 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 no. I want to know. What's my payment going to be? A lot of different options that kind of come into play in terms of you know putting all the numbers together, your trade. You know we all got to put everything together for you, and we'll do that once you get here. Cool. Can you give me an idea before I come down? Like I said, you know, there's a lot of things that kind of shift and make the numbers work. So, what would you think if you asked somebody, "Hey, can you let me know what my payment's going to be?" And they're like, "Well, there's a lot of different things. You know, I don't know. You just need to come down." Lack of transparency. Okay. Everybody ready? Ready? You. What, what did I tell you guys need to do? Make them trust you. If they like you, they'll listen to you, okay? If they'll believe you, they'll buy from you. If what you say sounds like it's not the truth, I'm out. Do you think people are sick of car salesmen, yes or no? Yes. Why? Bad, bad, bad shady. Bad bad shady. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the truth. It's because it's cause they suck at what they do. Like guys, can I ask you a question? Do you guys think that I'm a professional car salesman, yes or no? If you put me up against any car salesman, I'm gonna bury them. What's the difference between me and you guys? You Nothing. Train harder, you practice. I practice, I train, that's it. That's, guys, it's the only difference. You wanna know, I'm an introvert, I'm, I'm shy, I actively don't like to go out and do stuff, but I'm trained, okay? If you went into the military, they would make you take a gun apart blindfolded in the dark. They want you to know how to use that weapon. What is y'all's weapon? Selling. Words. Your words. Selling, that's your weapon. How good are you guys at your weapons? Not very good at all. And I'm not being a dick. I'm trying to tell you on a one to 10, a lot of you are twos, but you could be tens. You've just never practiced. You've never trained hard. 
If you go to the gym for three days in a row and then you don't go back, you're not gonna get in shape. If you go to the gym for 30 days, 30 days, and you, and you don't go back, you're probably not gonna see the results you want in 30 days. 90 days? Oh yeah. Oh, 90 days? You'll see some results. 90 days of training? Pfft. You guys will be bad asses. What else do you guys see yourself doing for the rest of your life? Getting into another industry or staying in the car business? Do you guys wanna make these next years really count? Would it be stupid if you guys trained with me today and you went back home and next year you were making the same money you made this year and I gave you all the answers on how to make a half a million to a million when you're with me? You're gonna have to change. Every one of you in here, you're going to have to change. You gotta change. Don't change for me. Guys, I'm not going home with you. I'm gonna change here and get crazier here. Hey guys, I just wanna tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with the friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.